What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here for a PSA order reveal. 20 card economy order. Let me pull up the details here so we have everything. This uh, was part of, you know, the, the economy lottery system. It was received on March 23rd. I am recording this on April 29th. So about five weeks, which seems to be about what most of these have been running. Um, so around five weeks door to door, not sure when this video is going to post yet. I will say I have a second order there. It's a 10 card economy order. That one is running much slower. That arrived on April 8th and is actually still in research and ID last I checked. So it's been in research and ID for almost three weeks. Uh, so that one's really going to have to hustle to match this five week turnaround time that I got on this order, which is about the same as I got on my last couple orders as well. So they seem to be hitting right around that window. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this because it's 20 cards. So we're going to be here for a hot minute and there's some uh, fun stuff in here. Fun stuff in here. First up, start with PMG. We got a Miles Morales or a Spider-Man MM50 bronze. I picked this up at the Atlanta show. Um, bronzes are out of 199 and this got a PSA 8. Very respectable grade for a uh, PMG. I'll take an 8 all day long in PMGs. And once again, these bronzes continue to be a little underrated in my opinion, at least in terms of looks. I'm not saying price-wise. Uh, but these are just really great looking cards when they catch the light the correct way. Just really good looking card. So that's the first one up. Um, I think one of these recently sold for around 500 bucks, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, and this is mostly Marvel stuff. In fact, I think it's all Marvel stuff. It's a mix of 90MU, some X-Men Series 1, and a lot of Marvel Weiss Schwartz. So... Uh, 90 MU, got a little Professor X action here, and PSA 10. I think one of these recently sold for like 600, I don't remember, something crazy like that. Uh, the set collectors are really chasing this stuff now, so if there's a character that they really need, and it's the last one that a couple people need, uh, it really pops the value on those things. Got another one here, a little Juggernaut action, and PSA 9. Bum bum ba -dum. Uh, PSA 9s on these, you're pretty much just losing your butt. So I'll actually probably, there's a couple PSA 9s in here. I'll probably just hold on to these uh, and maybe one day eventually try to put like a 9 set together or something. One more 90 MU. Got a little Power Man here, a.k.a. Luke Cage, and that pulled a PSA 10. Cool looking card. I like the classic outfit on Luke Cage, and I just, I'm such a sucker for 90 MU. They're just absolutely fantastic looking cards. Ah, the Wolverine from X-Men Series 1. I am baffled by this card. We're going to have to look this one over. Um, absolutely baffled by this card. This PSA 7. And I have no idea why. Corner. It's got a little white on it, but nothing crazy. Centering's pretty good. The top right corner looks a little sus. That one there looks a little... I don't know if that's what they got me on. Uh, the bottom left edge. I don't know. First time looking through these, um, besides taking a photo of one card real quick. But yeah, PSA seven on that one. I'm, um, you know, looking at it now, I could see why it maybe didn't, why it didn't ten. But seven on that one's a little ouchy. Uh, so that just goes into the old PC pile. That's you know just a fun little card to have laying around. We got Ultron here from 90MU. This also pulled a PSA 9. Uh, and it looks like we're in Weish Schwartz zone. So for those not familiar with it, this is the Japanese TCG. Uh, these grade 
really clean and they're just really cool looking cards in my opinion uh this is an iron man and it's got these are all hollow foil so on these ones it's a little hard to see the speckle you can see it there a little bit so i had sent some of these to sgc previously uh, but i sent these ones in the psa so we got a little iron man there i'll make a pile of these should be a bunch of white schwartz stuff uh, another one of these there are some duplicates here on these uh, both PSA 10s, by the way. Uh, I think, not to like spoil things here, I think all the white short stuff got 10s. Oh, third Iron Man. I didn't realize I sent three of these, to be honest. Not sure what these go for. I have not checked comps on these recently. Spider-Man. Same thing. These are the double rares, I believe. I think there's two of these. No, that's just the base one. This one's just a base one. I just thought it was a cool looking card. I thought it would look good in the PSA slab. I like the artwork on this. That's just the regular rare, I believe. Another one of those. There is a banger in here. It's coming. Uh, Thor, this is a triple R. It's got a little different effect on it there. Getting a lot of white Schwartz. Uh, Loki, SR. I don't know if that's secret rare or super rare. I'm going to guess secret rare. Kind of like a prism effect on it, like Topps Chrome baseball prism almost. Cool looking card. Good artwork. Thanos, same thing, SR. Once again, great artwork on these. Uh, Hulk, same thing, SR. Like this one, he kind of pops out there with that gold background. These are a fun, cheap rip. I think I don't know what these are going for a box now. I got them for about ninety bucks a box from Amazon Japan. Ah, there's another one of those Spider Man. Once again, all PSA 10s. This is the really good Spider-Man, I believe. Yeah, this is the SR Spider-Man. Okay, now we are into X-Men Series 1 again. These are the holograms. This is the Magneto, and we got PSA 9. These are really hard to show. There we go. So these are really hard to show off on camera because of the... Don't catch the light the right way. They don't look good. You know, hold it flat like that. It doesn't really pop. You know, a little angle like that it looks good. I'm going to keep this one. I love Magneto. I've always been a big fan of this card. Uh, I'm going to hang on to this. I think this goes for about 80 or 90 bucks. So I could make a slight little profit on this if I wanted to. And then uh, the big one or the main event. This one right here, the Wolverine. And boy, did I not expect this. Uh, just because these are such tough grades. So you never want to bank on anything there it is psa 10 get that in the light there we go wolverine series x-men jim lee series one hologram sorry i got a little dust flakes on the case there but absolutely gorgeous looking card i would have to be honest from a pc perspective i would have rather had the magneto 10 than the wolverine Wolverine's probably worth more. Actually, the Wolverine's probably definitely worth more. No idea what the valuation would be on this card. Uh, it's pop four. Uh, some of the holograms, I think all the holograms, the highest pop is pop four. Some of them are three. Some of them are two. The X-Men team from this set is pop zero in a PSA 10. So very, very tough grades to get. There's the back there. But absolutely. Oops. There we go. Gorgeous looking cards. I'm going to toss this one on the bay and just kind of see what happens. Probably throw it up on my slabs too. Um, and just see what offers roll in for it. I, I'm not necessarily desperate to move it. Uh, I'll put it up at some stupid price and just see what offers come in. If I get desperate, then I'll run an auction on it. But I'm not uh, not dying to move it. But if the right deal comes across, you know. So fun grade on that one. Super excited about that one. Uh, pretty good order overall. I don't know. We'll see how I do on the Weiss Schwartz stuff. 
Uh, you know, these are definitely losses, 100%. PSA 9, PSA 7, PSA 9. I'd probably get maybe 20 bucks a piece for these. Uh, probably way less than that on the Wolverine. Uh, these are probably a couple hundred bucks each, would be my guess. And this was a thousand bucks in grading fees. Uh, so that would help make up some of it. And then these, I have a feeling some of these will probably actually sell for slightly more than what they cost to grade. While some of the other ones may go for like 100, 125, 150 bucks. But even if I double or triple up on a lot of the white short stuff, it just helps pay for the submission. Uh, and then you get to keep the cards you really want for free. So that's the reveal. Uh, PSA continues to turn pretty good times around, at least on this stuff. Like I said, this was about five weeks. But like I also said, I have a second order there um, on the, that's still in research and ID that's been there for three weeks. And that's just 10... 90 MU cards. It's nothing crazy. It's the one that I opened from that second box that I got that did not have the D&D &D cards on it. So, uh, yeah. Wolverine PSA 10 hologram. Uh, shocked by that one. Just a fantastic looking card with dust all over it. There she goes. So, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.